good evening this is roma welcoming you to the study of the book of isaiah today we shall focus on chapters 11 and 12 of isaiah chapter 10 11 focuses on the phrase a branch from david's line that's the prophecy that's the birth of jesus christ he is a branch from david's line chapter 11 starts with this verse out of the stump of david's family will grow a shoot a new branch bearing fruit from the old root roots remain underneath and from from the root from the old root from the stump of david's family a branch will grow a shoot will grow that is the prophecy about the birth of jesus christ in the lineage of david how met how great statements are given about the birth of the messiah that's the lord jesus christ spirit of the lord will rest on him the spirit of wisdom and understanding will rest on him the spirit of counsel and might will rest on him the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of the fear of the lord will rest on him on that branch on that shoot from the line of david he will delight in obeying the lord he will not judge by appearances nor make a decision based on hearsay he will give justice to the poor even in the contemporary world present day we need justice to be done to the poor make fair decisions for the exploited earth will shake at the force of his word the word of god is so powerful it will shake the earth will shake at the force of his word one breath from his mouth will destroy the wickedness in the world he will wear righteousness like a belt truth like an undergarment that is the place well when the new earth new heaven and the new earth are come we can visualize these things wolf the wolf and the lamb will live together leopard will lie down with the baby goat the calf and the yearling will be safe with the lion and a little child will lead them all that little child is the child jesus christ the branch from the david's lineage the cow will graze near the bear the cub and the calf lie down together the lion will eat hay like a cow the baby will play safely near the hole of the cobras yes the little child will put his hand in a nest of the deadly snakes without any harm nothing will hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain this holy mountain is the lord's temple it is his city jerusalem for as the waters fill the sea so the earth will be filled with the people who know the lord the heir to david's throne that is the lord jesus christ will be a banner of salvation he is the banner of salvation the heir to david's throne will be a banner of salvation to all the world to all the world 
mentions Isaiah. The nations will rally to him and the Lord and the land where he lives will be a glorious place. Glory fills that place, the entire world, the new heaven and the new earth. The entire creation is filled with his glory and nations will rally to him. Not one nation, that is Israel. The whole world, all the nations will rally to him. The Lord will make a dry path through the Gulf of the Red Sea. Today, in the tumultuous situations, in the stormy sea where we walk in, my dear friends, God will make a way, a dry land upon which we can walk through. The Lord will make a dry path through the Gulf of the Red Sea. He will wave his hand through the Euphrates River, sending a mighty wind to divide it into seven streams easily. Red Sea divided into seven seas. So it can easily be crossed on foot. He will make a highway to the remnant of his people, just as he did for Israel long ago when they returned from Egypt. Israelites returned from Egypt. They were chasing, the chariots were chasing the Israelites. But the sea was parted into two halves and the road was made, dry land was made upon which all the Israelites safely, the remnant was brought back to their city. In the chapter 12 of Isaiah, we see, it's a song, it's a psalm of praise and salvation. Birth of Jesus Christ is prophesied, and through the Lord Jesus Christ we have salvation. See, God has come to save me. I will trust in Him, not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength, my song. As the Lord saves us, my dear friends, bless, He must bless us, He shall bless us and put a new song in our mouths. God has come to save me. I will trust in Him, not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. With the joy, you will dive deeply from the fountain of salvation. In that wonderful day, you will sing. Thank the Lord. Praise His name. Tell the nations what He has done. Our God performs miracles in our lives. Yes, and we shall give a testimony in the congregation and we shall sing praises unto the Lord in the holy sanctuary. Joy is one of the most delightful of human emotions. Joy in our families, we have, we need, we pray for joy in our workplace, joy in the abundance of food, joy in good health. And for a Christian, for Israelites, for a Christian, joy in the victory over the enemies. Today, for us, it's a joy in the victory over the temptations. For Israelites it is, it was religious feasting. Joy represents religious feasting and it was the return from exile, return from bondage to freedom. For Israelites that those days and for a Christian today, Joy related to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. May this joy 
put a new song in our mouths. Joy in the midst of persecution. Disciples of Jesus Christ faced the persecutions, counted these persecutions as joy. The joy that Lord is deep within the human hearts, not necessarily related to one's personal circumstances. Rejoice in the Lord, in the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and the ultimate joy the Christians anticipate is the joy of a new heaven and the joy of the new earth and celebration at the wedding feast of the Lamb. That day it is the wedding feast of the Lamb and that's the pure joy. Sing to the Lord for he has done wonderful things. If we count our blessings. He has done so many wonderful things in our lives. Make known his praise around the world. Shout his praise with joy. Great is his great is the Holy One of Israel who lives among us. The Lord is holy. May He guide us, may He strengthen us and fill us with His holiness. Let's pray, dear friends. Heavenly loving Father, fill us, fill our hearts with joy. Joy, as your word says, rejoice in the Lord always, I tell you, rejoice. Bless us, strengthen us beyond the circumstances beyond the difficulties, beyond the beyond persecutions, beyond the challenges, fill our hearts with the joy that we shall rejoice in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Fulfill our hope in the new heaven and in the new earth that was promised to us that was promised to his people, to your people, God, Father. Bless us. You have done wonderful things in our lives, Father. We shall give testimony of the great things you have done in our lives, Father. Strengthen in us our hope in the power of the Holy Spirit because it never, Holy Spirit never puts us to shame. Strengthen in us our hope in the power of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit, we are never, it's never our faith in the Holy Spirit, our hope in the Holy Spirit is never, never mocked at by. You shall fight our battles Valiantly, O Father, in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, with the answer for any situation in our lives, Father. He shall fight our battles victoriously. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless all the viewers who joined me in this meditation on chapters 11, 10 and 11. Thank you, Jesus. Bless us that we shall rejoice and sing your praises. Your faithfulness is never failing. Your love, your steadfast love towards us endures forever. This I pray, fulfill the heart's desires of all the viewers and fill their mouths with laughter and put a new song in their mouths, Father. In Jesus' precious name I ask, Amen, Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bye-bye, friends. See you next with the next video.